last time you saw us, we were living in a van full time. Heather and I traveled the entire United States. I have a ton of footage. We're still releasing, need to release videos on that stuff. It is coming, hold tight, I promise. This kitchen did not look anything like this when we moved back in. Heather and I decided we want to completely reno the kitchen and create a space that we really love and enjoy and it brings smiles to our faces every time we step foot into the kitchen. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. If you've clicked on this video, you clicked because of the title I left and you care about the review of these cafe appliances. We've had these appliances now for about four months and I wanted to give an honest review on them because when we were first looking at buying these appliances, I was on YouTube looking for some reviews and information on them and I can tell you that there was none. Hopefully this helps you in your decision on choosing new cafe appliances for your kitchen. This is the 36 inch dual fuel model, meaning it has a propane or natural gas cooktop and then an electric oven area in the bottom. We decided to go with the dual fuel because Heather does enjoy baking, not as much as she likes cooking, but she says she wants to get more into baking. And the electric oven is actually the more expensive model because it's a super precise oven. It stays within one degree of temperature at all times. And literally you can't mess anything up that you put in here. It just always comes out amazing. And what else can you tell us about this thing? Okay, so if you notice here, these all have these rose gold little accents on there. Those are a really nice touch. Those come that way. It's rose gold no matter what color option you go with. So even if your hardware is um, brushed or nickel or whatever other options you can choose, um, this little logo will always be rose gold. And I do believe you can actually remove it. Yeah, there's, so there's an, an Allen key back there and you can actually take it off if you don't like it at all. So it has tons of features and all of these appliances are Wi-Fi compatible. So I've got them all connected to my phone which is really nice in the evening. The other night, Heather and I were sitting on the couch and we wanted to make cookies and neither of us wanted to get up to preheat the oven. So I actually just did it from my phone and saved us walking to the kitchen. Um, that's lazy for you. Yeah, that's awesome. But um, it has tons of features. You can do everything from your phone, like I said. Super satisfying click. Like, listen to how satisfying this click is. And it's very tactile when you turn it. Very high quality. Uh, it's actually super nice. So is this knob, changes the temperature, and then as well as your broil, clean. You got things like the oven light, timer, and uh, this nice little turn knob here that also has a great clip. So let's say we want to bake something at 375. We'll just click start oven and it'll start preheating and give us an estimated Oh, actually, oh, I think I already set a timer. Is there a timer on? Malfunction, malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that clock is. Uh, if I turn it off. Oh, so there was a timer on. That's what it was. So I got it right now. I got a two hour hold for three seconds to cancel. That's what happens when you just start clicking a bunch of buttons. So we decided to go with the gas burner actually had my buddy's company, Rack Electric, shout out Rack Electric here in Boca Raton, uh, helped us install our propane tanks and gas lines. We do not have access to natural gas from our city on this block of the neighborhood, so we had to install our own. It comes with some different burners, and I'm probably gonna mess this up, but if you're this far into the video, you've probably already looked at all the specs of this on paper from Cafe, so I'm just gonna kinda give you the, the lowdown. There's three, really large burners the two in the middle seem to be a little smaller and then you have this burner here that will either light wrong burner this one is either going to light all the way around or you can turn it to low and you can see just this little baby middle one on and you can turn it down even lower to a simmer this is, I mean, I can hold my hand here comfortably for about 15 seconds before it starts to get too hot. So it's really just keeping it warm, but minimally, minimally, minimally. So a lot of options with this burner. This is like, this is your do-it-all burner. The other four are just your simple circular low. 
to high burners. And then we have this one, I'm going to get the name wrong, it's some turbo super boiler. This one's pretty wild. It makes like a vortex of fire, like I can't even hold my, like you're probably going to melt the camera. And it's hot, like this, it gets hot to here. So, and that's not high, and then you can dial this one down. I make eggs on this one, and I can make eggs in like 90 seconds, I swear. It gets the pan hot in seconds. I, this, this stove has changed my life for breakfast. I can make eggs in literally 90 seconds. Fantastic. Uh, one thing to note uh, that we were unaware of, have the oven on and you're baking for a while, you'll notice a fan start to turn on in the back. And I believe what it's doing is it's regulating the heat so well inside the oven that it dissipates heat from the back here. And so it's constantly kicking on. It's not super loud, but you definitely notice it. Uh, the first couple times you're like, what's that noise? And then it still does that even after you turn the oven off. So you may hear this like soft fan noise, kind of like air rushing sound. That's coming from the back here. And from my understanding, it's completely normal. And that is how the oven is able to be so precise while baking. Yeah, it does that. What else is this thing got? All right, so it doesn't end yet. <laughs> it's, the features are endless on this. There's a reason this thing is, listen, it's quality. It is a very, very nice range. Like, it's as nice as the Wolf range. Like, I've seen them both. It doesn't, it's, they're, they're the same. What they don't compare to as far as quality, these absolutely take a poo-poo on KitchenAid's like higher end stuff, which is kind of almost similarly priced, which is like crazy considering how much nicer these are. In fact, the Airbnb we were just in, in Sedona, had the higher end KitchenAid's and they just were no bueno. The features have not ended. So <laughs> I'm here on my phone. Now I will say this, another thing, if you get yours and you don't have this clock here. So when we first got this, it had an, it hadn't been updated on the app and then I updated it and it still wasn't fixed. There was no clock here. This was just a black screen for the first two months of owning this. There was no clock in the kitchen and it was driving me mad because I thought that is the most perfect place to put a <laughs> clock. It looks beautiful, but there was no clock. It was just a black screen. Jesse would come over and be like, why don't you turn the clock on that thing? I'm like, dude, I've gone through the settings a hundred times. There's no clock. Lo and behold, one day, all the apps like auto update on my, I get a notification. Your oven is now is up to the latest firmware. It's been updated. I walk in, there's a clock there. And then they added the function into the app. So thank Show you, us the app. What's, thank what's you the app Smart for? HQ. So the app you need is called Smart HQ. Um, and when you first open it, looks something like this got dishwasher beverage center fridge oven dryer and washer so we have all of our appliances on Wi-Fi now when I go into oven here this is a feature that you can only use from the app so if you want to use the air fryer mode on your oven you have to go into oven and then change it to air fry and you can change the temperature anywhere from oh geez 300 to 500 degrees on air fry. You hit start. <laughs> sick. <laughs> that is so sick. And you're air frying in a 36 inch size oven. Like, <laughs> look at all those wings you can put in there. <laughs> you can air fry the whole Super Bowl party for the block. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's the problem with air fryers. They're like this big. Yeah, you, can can't get anything you can only fit 12 wings in them. What, why do you want to air fry 12 wings? You always eat wings with friends. Sorry if you eat wings by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turning this off from my phone. I'm going to hit the power button. That's science. We're alive. <laughs> We All right, we're rolling. All right, next on the list. I gotta look up. I gotta look it up. I don't know <laughs> what this look is up called. The model. <laughs> Babe, what model fridge do we have? Pause. <laughs> All right, this is the 36 inch four door French door smart refrigerator with 27.6 cubic feet capacity, twin chill, convertible drawer, LED light tower, autofill. 
autofill. <laughs> Humidity control system enhanced Shabos mode capable. Oh, Shab Shababo, Shabab. What is that called? Where you're not allowed to use electricity on the weekends? Oh, Shabbat. Shabbat. Shabbat, right? I've never seen it spelled. S-H-A-B-B-O-S. Oh. O-S? Shabbat. Mode capable. I'm pretty sure you can set it up in the app to not... Does it lock you out? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we'll have to come back to that oh, feature. It's if electronic. you know what that feature does, please... Leave a comment below. I would love to read your responses to what Shabas mode capable is. S H A B B O S. Moving on. Matt White with the brushed bronze handles. Okay. Where to start? I know where to start. The autofill feature because it's the best freaking feature of this fridge. I show every friend that comes over this feature. And it makes me happy every time I use it. Now what you're watching right here is the fridge that sends the water in the glass. It's going to fill it up to the tippy top, but never, ever will it go over. Watch, keep an eye on it. It's getting close. It hasn't decided to stop just yet. Will it stop? Wow, another perfect glass of water. As you saw, that is an amazing feature. It saves so much time. You don't have to stand here and push on this thing. You can if you want to. You can still push on it and do it the old-fashioned way. In fact, everyone who comes over to your house will. And you'll have to specifically tell them to click the autofill button in which they'll stand in disbelief for however long it takes to fill their cup with water. This also has some buttons. If, as long as you're not a moron, you can figure out what they do. All right, I might be a moron. That light got brighter when I touched it. There may be brightness settings. Okay, that's off. That's a brightness. It's back off. Um, everything's motion sensed. So like when you walk by it, if you have this button on, it's gonna turn off. When you walk by it, it uh, senses you're in the room and it illuminates, which is really nice at night. When you walk in, it senses you've walked into the kitchen. This light actually comes on automatically. So. That's why I didn't know what that button does, because I just leave it on. It's always on. That feature is also on the beverage fridge, um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. French door, huge, huge, like, opening. Like, there is, I can be in here. I can be all in the fridge. I probably can't hear me. I'm talking into the fridge, but I'm saying I can be in the fridge if I want to. It's really big. This is the deep, deeper model. I mean, it seems like we can never even get close to filling it up. We've had it since... Thanksgiving of last year, we had it full of food and we never once thought there wasn't enough space. So, and we even have a ton of junk condiments in here and there's just tons of room. In the back, we mentioned the light tower and the, when I rambled off, I believe they mean this in the back here. A uh, great feature of this fridge is this sliding shelf that allows you to simply slide it out of the way if you have a tall item you need to place in the fridge. I believe they mean this is the light tower here. It just has some fancy design, cafe logo, and it illuminates from the back of the fridge, which I think is really nice. Um, this is my favorite drawer. You know, I thought this was going to be my favorite drawer. I don't ever put anything in here. Babe, why don't I put anything in this drawer? <laughs> I feel like this is the best drawer. It's so accessible. Like, so this drawer is the twin chill dual zone. You can change this drawer's temperature to anything. Uh, it can be a freezer. It can do a soft freeze. It can do meat. It can do beverages. It can do snacks, and it can do wine. So you can actually it, this. I wonder what the temperature is. Let's see. So you hold this button, control lock for three seconds, and that lets you adjust these. So if I ch click wine. It's gonna make this 42 degrees. And then you can fit. I mean, you'd be able to fit. And, oh, and these move. So you can move this stuff around. See how this middle drawer is kind of small? Well, I can just slide that all the way over if I don't even want a third drawer. I actually didn't even know that did that. First time I've done that. Okay, so it can slide all the way <laughs> over and it's completely open. 
That's, this is why you do reviews. That's <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be a pro about this fridge after this. Never... All right. So adjustable drawers so here. You can separate things. For some reason, we have cheese in this one and also cheese in that one and some cheese in the third one. This might just be a cheese drawer. Uh, we're going to ch change it to snacks. We're going to change it back to snacks. To do that, I have to hold this for three seconds. Snacks. Excellent feature. As you can see, it pulls out into three different sections, a large bottom part of it, a really nice drawer that kind of automatically pops out when you open the fridge. It kind of just kind of half opens it for you. And then a third drawer so they really maximize, even though this is like a chest style freezer, they really maximize the space amazingly with this system having a drawer and these bins. We have all the dogs food in here right now. We feed them raw. That's why we have like weird gross meats in here, like green tripe chunked beef kidney. These salmon chunks aren't for us. Oh look, Lily's coming. She, she's like, yo, that's my food. Uh, so we don't cook this for them or anything. We just feed it to them raw. Uh, that's why we have weird food in our freezer. But it's great because we can keep all of their food on one side, our, ours on the other. And again, this has one of those sliding divider systems so that you can create each side as big or small as you'd like. Um, also, they even have additional little shelving here that just seems to collect little odds and ends that you keep in the freezer like whiskey stones and ice packs. All these are on the app, like I said before. This one, things you can do on the app with this one. If I go to my fridge, you can go to monitor and control. And you can see my convertible drawer is at 37 for snacks. My refrigerator is at 37 up top and my freezer is at zero. Now you can turn the ice maker on and off and it tells you the status of your water filter. A good fridge love that fridge i tell you what the autofill feature still my favorite there's a ton of different models of this dishwasher like blew my mind there's like they all look the same but they're all different they do different things i don't know anyways i just took a picture of the label which is right here it'll tell you the model number and then now i can just select it copy it throw it into into Google's. So this is the Cafe Smart Stainless Steel Interior Dishwasher with Sanitize and Ultra Wash and Dual Convection Ultra Dry. That's the one it was. And right now it is $18.99. Holy crap, $1,900. Um, I mean, it's, it's a good dishwasher. I, I don't know, we didn't pay that. This is the only appliance we were able to find at Harbor Freight. I felt like it's a dishwasher, like it has a pretty simple job. Okay, so you'll notice um, very clean white front. Apparently this was the floor model. I got it at Harbor Freight. Um, looked perfect, no issues with it at all. It's got the same gorgeous handle, all the little cafe rose gold things. Uh, when you open this up, I really like that it's like this matte gray and silver color. I think it's very nice. Uh, what's really cool about this is if you look here, you can see that it when you place the, the silverware tray on it, it actually squirts water up through the entire silverware tray. So it, it does an amazing job at cleaning the, the silverware. I, I will say that. It's, I've never had a dishwasher that cleaned the silverware that well. Um, it also has another unique spraying feature on the top where it has these little injector hoses Kind of you place the cup on them and it squirts the water up into the cup which we find is super useful for our smoothie cups i feel like the smoothie cups if you don't drink them right away they kind of like crust onto the glass and then you got to clean them we don't even clean them we just rinse them and then we put them on here into this little clip so it holds it and then it shoots water up and around in the glass and it drains out the bottom and does a fantastic job of cleaning um, cups that have like stuck on stuff on there. On the top it has these these little racks. Uh, excuse all the dishes in here. I left it dirty so that we could run a load together. We will be doing the dishes together. Uh, this will hold wine stems so it'll hold 
wine glasses in there so you can put them those through the dishwasher if that's your fancy. I don't know anybody that puts their wine glasses through the dishwasher, but I mean, I guess you could. I would just I feel like they'd break. Um, oh, that's okay. Got a favorite to every appliance. This is this. Look at this top drawer. Look at this. It's just wasted space otherwise, normally. You slide it out, and it's perfect for putting utensils, Yeti caps, Eric's tongs from when he made a meal in here earlier today. Go check out his video. I'll link it. Show him some support. Let's Give him go. a like. He Let's made go. made his meal prep right here in this kitchen. If you want to see like a little, <laughs> he's also filming right now. Hell yeah. Um, anyways, this drawer slides. Favorite feature of the dishwasher. All right, so let's run a load. It takes your finish. Finish is prop must have a deal with General GE because they got their name on there. Finish jet dry. That's what I bought. That's what I put in there. Works amazing. I do not use the finish. Right now we have Cascade. I've got zero brand loyalty to any of these companies. They go buy one, get one free at Publix. That's the brand I buy that week, which everyone's buy one, get one free. And the dishwasher seems to do a good job with all of them. Place that in there. A lot of different options up here. You can do a lot of things. If you're really into dishwashers, maybe you can enlighten me on what some of these do and the goods and bads of each. I guess you can just wash the upper or the lower, so that's pretty cool if you want to just run like half a load. Uh, you can turn the bottle jets on or off. Those are the things that clean the smoothie cups for us. Uh, I'll tell you what I do every single time. This button right here says auto, and I just click the auto button every time. Uh, China. China. I don't know why it's saying China. It usually says normal. So I'm going to click normal. I might have clicked something on accident. You usually click auto. usually says normal. I don't know. Maybe it recognizes if you have China. Find China in there. Um, like I said, I don't touch any of this stuff. It does a lot. I'm sorry. This is going to be a bad review on the dishwasher. I just didn't get as excited as the other ones. So I'm just going to hit start. And it tells you to close the door. We missed it, but now it just tells you the estimated time remaining, which I think is a really nice feature. Um, remember I said this has a little quirk. I don't know if it's when we hit auto or when we don't hit auto or if it just happens no matter what, but this will start beeping telling me to resume the washing cycle after about two minutes. Um, every single time it seems to be where you gotta come back, open it and hit start again. I don't know if it's like a weird bug in the firmware or if it's just a bug in the actual dishwasher itself and that's the reason I saved over a thousand dollars on it. Um, if that's the case, not a big deal. I don't mind hitting the button again, but I do wish that maybe a firmware update will fix that issue. Bonus clip. Look, told you. Cycle paused. I don't know why it does that. Press start to resume. I have to open it like it's already wet. It's been washing. It doesn't, it's just like start. You can see this closed door in two seconds to resume. One second to resume. Um, but that's about it on this cafe dishwasher. Yeah, this is the cafe beverage center. As you'll see, it is flush mounted as is the dishwasher. Very smooth finish. Very sleek. Uh, I just love the way this looks. I think it's fantastic. Um, this was kind of like my little splurge, my little gift to myself in this kitchen. Um, I just love the idea of having a place to put all the beverages so when you want something to drink, you don't have to go into the fridge and kind of wrestle around with the food that's in there and try and fit beverages in. So this is strictly beverages. This also has the lovely cafe handle, the matte bronze, with the little cafe little emblem there and rose gold that comes with all the appliances no matter what fit or finish you choose. It is always a rose gold little accent that says cafe there. So really nice. Uh, let's get into this thing, kind of check it out.
Okay, so um, it doesn't look blue. If this looks blue on camera, it's actually white. It's just the white balance has thrown it off uh, of the camera. But it has the same panel, lit panel on the back here, just like the fridge does. And it kind of illuminates everything from the back when you have bottles in here. Actually looks very nice. This has um, adjustable shelves. So you can actually adjust all these shelves. And then I'll, I'll show you here. As you can see, we have kind of tall items standing up. So that shelf comes up out of the way like this. So you can kind of have more space if you want more top space. You could just remove, you know, some of these shelves and whatnot. I find that it's nice to kind of have this slid out of the way. And then I can leave upright bottles in here like this. Two wine drawers, um, one on the bottom. One on the top. This one is actually Magnum bottle uh, capable, so it can hold four 1.5 liter Magnum bottles of wine uh, or Prosecco, if that's your thing. And it slides out. Um, we have all of our controls up here. Um, turbo cool, Wi-Fi connect. This is, of course, connected to the Wi-Fi, so I can use it with the app, the Smart HQ app. And things you can do in the app are turn on and off display mode. You can have the light always on, uh, the brightness of it when the door is closed, as well as when it's open. Settings you can think of, you can change in the app. And then it also has a sensor so that when you walk by, it automatically turns on and illuminates, which is really nice at night. Walk into the kitchen, it's dark, you walk by, the fridge light turns on, that light turns on. You don't even need any other lights, you can see what you're doing. So. That's super, super great feature, really built into these. Um, you know, these aren't cheap, but they're like, it's, they're just such high quality. I mean, this door feels so heavy. I can tell it's really well insulated. It's keeping the temperature absolutely perfect in there. Really nice seals. And it's just such like a great thud when it closes. It's like you're opening a vault. It's like a big vault of door. It's just like, boom. Just feels real heavy. The hinges are really nice. As you'll see here, this is flush mounted with my hand, completely flush, and I'm opening it and it's not hitting anything. So this is a really high quality hinge, really quality stuff. Um, you're really getting what you pay for. With all of these cafe products, they're all just top notch quality. All right guys, thank you so much for sticking through this video. If you watch the whole thing, Really appreciate you. If you could, just leave maybe a like. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. So I know, hey, if it wasn't for me, I hate this style of content. But then again, I, I can't say I care. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Um, hit the subscribe button if that's your thing too. I'd really appreciate it. Kind of motivates me. I've been out of the game, but I'm back. Kind of wanted to get into it with a silly little product review. I found these, there was no information, so I kind of went out on a limb. Uh, it seems like, this is by GE. This is kind of like their high-end line, um, really, which just means quality line because, like, it's not cheap stuff. It's literally, like, they're all made really well. So just uh, hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you're making the decision to buy any one of these appliances, um, you have my mark of approval. They're all great, and they've been life-changing, honestly. Like, that stove, cooking on that thing is very, very pleasurable. In fact, I want to get Heather doing some videos, making some food, and doing meals. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Eric, thank you for filming. We're out. Gotcha. Essentially, no gap. Lily, are you trying to be in the video? Would you like to be in the video? This is Lily. Oh, and this is Scout. She's going to start barking as soon as I pick her up. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright, we have to review today.